think we're going to make a decision on the study tonight. Uh, we're, we're not there yet. Um, we got more time, but we can certainly come back with recommendations. That's reasonable expectation. And again, staff. and again, just as with the ambulance service, I would like to see a cost breakdown per customer. I would really like to see cost breakdowns per customer. We really can't know where we're at unless we know what, we're, what it's costing us, and that includes all your labor, lights, all of that on a per customer basis. Uh, Councilman Hafen? Well, I just, I just want to say I concur too with the, this needs to be a little more in depth uh, as we get to the bottom. We're not prepared to make the decisions now, and, uh, but I do think that we ought to put some kind of a timetable on this so that we don't just think about it until we get to the budget next year and it comes up again and it comes up again. Let's, let's, let's get serious about what we can or can't do and what it's going to affect and, and comparables of what when we charge X number of dollars, what do, what do our people get? What is the folks in Henderson? What are the people in North Las Vegas? And, I mean, maybe North Las Vegas might not be the best comparable, but we ought to compare them all. So, so Mr. Barton, Mr. Dangerfield, what kind of time frame can you work with to get that kind of information complete? Mayor, I have it here with me, but I know that you don't have it in but, advance. But, but that, that isn't telling me how much it's costing me per customer. How much it's uh, you know what value they're getting uh, this is a lot more in depth than, than a simple matrix telling me what somebody else is charging it, i would like a copy of that with the backup so we could look I, at that I and too. then i think we could sure. figure out and give some more direction but i would like to see that as well i think this we, we need a lot more in depth than, than and i appreciate you doing the work mr dangerfield but there, there's a lot more to this question than, than going out and finding out what somebody else is charging um, Mr. Mayor, maybe we can come back to you. Would uh, 30 days be enough, Brian, to do that, or you need another, need a bit more time? Yes, and, and depending on how much detail you want, um, I could talk with uh, Dr. McLean, and he might be able to do a, a very informative presentation. He was very enlightening, and well, well, if I, you want to go to that detail. I, I understand Dr. McLean's positioning, uh, you know, he's going to obviously bring something to it, but again, dollars and cents. Uh, that's something I don't need a PhD from UNLV to tell me. That's something I need the department to bring up and, and get us that information. And, and maybe I'm off base here, but I'm looking at the rest of the council, uh, at least some of the council, and they're kind of in agreement with me. We need to know what our costs are. We need to know what, what we're offering based on that so that we can sit up here and make a good decision for all of the public on this issue. So, uh, Councilman Rapson, your light's back on. Yeah, I, I, there's, there's a lot of components to this thing, and I think we're, you're, you're on the right track, but we just have some holes to fill on this thing, and, and I, I just got back from Colorado, a little town in southern Colorado, and they've got a pregnancy advocacy service, they've got a rec center, they've got, they've got 10 different publicly funded things, and they're bankrupt. I mean, it, it, there's a matter of philosophy here, too, that, that is the intangible, you know, what, what role do we want to play as a taxpayer in this town with respect to these things. And, and it's an important question. And I don't think that's something that can be passed over lightly either. And, and each community has a different philosophy. Each state has a different philosophy. And so I, I, this is very, very serious. It's very complicated. And I think we need to devote a fair amount of time to the an analysis and, and, and give us the ability to ask more questions to make it even more complete. So I would say at least 30 days, and then you know, have something to counsel maybe in two weeks or something, just so we can start reviewing and getting with staff and so forth. I'm going to concur with Councilman Rapson on that. Any further questions for Mr. Dangerfield or Mr. Barton on this issue? OK, I don't see any. Thank you, Mr. Dangerfield. Councilman Withhelder, your light was on. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd, I'd like to address uh, the reserves that we just spoke of a minute ago. Where is that going to put us in, as far as our compliance goes with the state mandated uh, reserves? Are, are we still within those parameters? Yes, it will meet the 10% that we need to keep in there. And that's based off the actuals from June 30th, 2012. Our okay. financial statement that the auditors prepared. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any further questions from council? Any further comments? All right, gentlemen, 
We'll seek a motion then. Let's put my computer back down here. Councilman Withheller. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I, I would like at this time to make a motion that Council approve uh, the budget for uh, 2014 as presented this evening with all the necessary adjustments and changes as prescribed. Yeah, I have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Councilman Rapson is a second. And we need to we, we need to approve this, don't we? Yes. As the tentative. Yeah, this is tentative. Right. So I have a motion and a second on the tentative budget. Second was Councilman Rapson. So I have a motion and a second. Do we want to discuss the motion any further, or are we good with the motion? Yes, it is clear that this is a tentative. Okay. All right. Uh, cast your vote. Oh, wait. Do I have a question? Hold on before you cast. On the motion itself. No, you. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt that. But I just want everyone to realize that the expenditures and revenues will decrease when we pull that 41000 from the fire department's budget. Right, just with so see a all changes and recommendations. Okay. So, uh, any further on the motion itself? Nothing. Uh, cast your vote. Okay, that motion carries. Uh, with that, we'll go to agenda item three, which is public comment again. Those wishing to make public comment, please step forward, state your name, and remember you do have a three minute limit. Seeing none, we're adjourned.